Hatchback now. Salamato. Addicted to radio.com. Report for DJ International TV. We're at the Spring Awakening Festival, like about 12 hours away from summer. I'm sitting here with Cruella. Woo! Uh, Cruella, Chicago, right? Yeah, Indeed. from yep. Chicago. And banging dubstep out of this city like no one else is doing. Thank you. Thank you. Right, tell me how, they, how you guys came together. How did you wind up coming together? And uh, the well, first time I met Jahan, we were at like a high school party. In, uh, we went to Glenbrook North, North, and uh, she fell down the stairs. She was drunk. <laughs> And she like fell like literally right in front of me and I was like, what up? And we started talking. I was like an angel that fell from the sky. And we were both into music, so we started working together and then uh, we brought her younger sister on and we sort of been working together for about four years now. Alright, so talking in the studio, when you're in the studio, what's in your studio? What are you what are you working with? Gear wise? Yeah. Um, I I do all the vocals on Pro Tools. Uh, we have a little I actually have like a home studio and uh, we do all the vocals there and I'm doing all that and then I work with Pro Tools and you know native instruments and uh, I use Ableton on the road on my laptop, so that's pretty much it. Now, for, for doing dubstep, what are some songs, some music that people probably wouldn't think you are listening to away from what you're producing? Because everybody's got their own thing. It's death metal. Thing. So, like, oh, like uh, Celtic Cross? And uh, I, I mean, all the people would probably say, oh, that's not death metal. It's more like metalcore, like Black Dahlia Murder, okay. and uh, like Darkest Hour, and Animosity, and The Faces, and stuff like that. And you can hear that, you know, it's even in like dubstep, it's aggressive stuff. Man, and it hits That's hard. Why it's so exciting for me. Yeah. You know, and how about you? I mean, we, we both grew up on like insanely pop stuff like ABBA. I always use that as a reference because that's so like left field from what people think. But I mean, we also grew up on like Sony, like new wave arts like the Cure. And I don't know, man. We listen to everything. Everything. So who's, who does the songwriting? When you're, are you all working together or do you have an idea one day and, say, oh, man, and then you get to the studio and you say, Look what I got. Uh, yeah, it kind of changes every time. Like sometimes, well, yesterday I do all the songwriting and um, recording vocals. Um, sometimes, like we'll have an acapella and we'll come to Chris and we'll have a beat around it. Sometimes we'll have like a really simple beat, which is just like a basic structure, like some chords and then um, beat some music and we'll come to writing. Um, sometimes we write together, yesterday and I, sometimes separately. Yeah, so it really changes. We're sisters and sometimes we'll write over the same beat.
six songs, and the title track is called Play Hard. So we're going to put that out as our next single. It sort of represents, we went on the, a little Play Hard tour in California a couple months ago. It's sort of like our thing, right? It's like, like Play Hard. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be the next single. How does it work? I mean, does it, do you get worn out? I mean, do you ever get worn out? And like, sometimes you're like, geez, I just want to go sit down, or you just... As far as like, kind of drive ideas? No, about just the, the touring schedule, especially in the summer. Running on adrenaline. Zero sleep, all adrenaline. But we all get moved. If you do, like, we think about this all the time, like, back when we were in school, it was, like, such a bitch to get up at, like, 7 a.m., oh, yeah. but, like, it's, you, like, jump out of bed and you're, like, I, like, seriously wake up with a smile every day, and I'm just, like, I'm so glad that I'm doing what I love, so it's just, like, it, I mean, you have, like, days here and there where you don't feel creative or you feel exhausted, but, like, other than that, we're just, like, we love what we do and the passion is what's driving us right now. It's so much fun. Yeah, we have such a good time doing this. And this is Corella. I'm Sal Amato. We're at the Spring Awakening Festival, uh, the Electro Dance Channel, and tomorrow 